Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining our Accessing ACS Data Products using the ACS Summary File session. I'll hand it off to Charles. Yep. Thank you, Lillian, and uh, good morning, everyone, and thanks for tuning in, and welcome to the last day of the Data Users Conference today. Um, Thanks once again, thanks for joining in to our session today for using the ACS summary file to access ACS data products. Uh, myself, once again, my name is Charles Gamble and along with me, I have Vicki Mack as well as Bonin Wren, who goes also by Ben. Uh, so let's go ahead and just jump right into the summary file. Uh, so our main topic of the day obviously is the summary file itself. Uh, to go over the basics of the summary file, essentially this is a uh, filing system for organizing large volumes of data and is a set of files that contain all of the detailed tables for the ACS data releases for all geographies. Um, now, the summary file is used by data users who want to download the entire census data sets, alleviating the need to go back and forth to the website for various tables. Um, so while many users are familiar with our data products, like the detailed tables, uh, subject tables, and data profiles, the summary file does not include subject tables or data profiles, given that these tables are in fact created from detailed tables. So summary files just give you specifically detailed tables. Um, as for explaining the detailed tables themselves, these tables uh, provide access to the most um, detailed ACS data across tabulations for ACS variables. And detailed tables begin with letters B for base tables and C for collapse tables. Uh, now, the collapse tables cover the same topics um, as the base tables, but with fewer categories. So there's a little bit less breakdown there with those tables that are labeled with the C. Um, detail tables provide data at all geographic levels. So this does include the very granular uh, block group level as well. Now, detail tables are available through the ACS summary file, uh, which we're discussing here today. Uh, the Census Bureau Application Programming Interface, or the API for short, and also our data, our data.census.gov, which is our main dissemination platform. Uh, and the image you can see here on the side uh, shows a list of some of the detail tables. And actually, a full list can be found um, on our technical documentation section of our ACS website at census.gov forward slash ACS, and then going to that technical, technical documentation section. Uh, and then from there, you can find the full a table list to see all of our list of tables and all the detailed tables. Uh, so jumping back into the summary file data tool itself, there are two formats for the summary file. Um, however, uh, that will change with the release of the 2022 ACS data later this year in the fall, where we will only have one format moving forward. Uh, so that format itself is known as the new table-based format uh, and, is and is the recommended format uh, moving forward for the most recent 2021 data release just last year. Uh, and once again, as a reminder, the tail-based will be the only format available for the 2022 ACS data coming up this coming fall. Now, the tail-based format is available for 2018 data to all present day releases. And we made this change to, to the tail-based format uh, as it's not only a simpler method on us here at the Census Bureau to maintain the tool itself, but also much simpler for data users to actually use the tool. Now, the older format, as many of you know, um, is known as a sequence-based format, uh, and it requires several steps for downloading the data itself. And the sequence-based format contains ACS data from 2005 to 2021, and will not be available uh, for data releases 2022 and moving forward. So 2021 was the last year that the sequence base will have the ACS data actually loaded into the, uh, the tool itself. So both formats provide data in different style text files. Uh, the table-based format is in pipe delimited text files and the sequence-based is in the comma delimited text files. Uh, we also do like to advise users to first check if the data they are interested in is easily available or downloadable on data.census.gov. Uh, you know, DCG for short or data.census.gov should be used if data users only want, let's say one or two, or maybe just a couple tables with a minimal amount of geographies. And remember, using the summary file pulls a large volume of data based on all geographic levels. So the summary file does not provide data in as a beautiful format as DCG does, as you can see here on the images on the slide. So there's a little bit more work involved to actually read the data when using the summary file. So the images on the slide, the top image is a common delimited text file from the sequence-based format. 
And the bottom image is the newer pipe delimited text file for the table base. You can see they're a little bit harder to read than that, as you would see on a typical uh, table in data.census.gov. So I just mentioned the table base format is the much simpler to use. So with that, I want to give a quick review of the sequence based format and its challenges. So the sequence based format file requires users to locate three files, the summary file estimates, uh, the margins of errors, as well as the geography files. And these files contain a large number of cells and they are stored in a series called sequences um, that only contain the estimates themselves. So with that, users must actually go in and follow several steps to merge these files all together, including the metadata, uh, in order to, uh, to complete a full uh, recreation of the actual table itself. Um, so its challenges, in short, the issues with the ACS sequence-based format uh, include a complex and confusing format itself, um, as also it requires extra work for us here at the ACS, uh, as far as our staff to maintain the, the product. Um, the sequence base is also very confusing to use. It requires multiple sources of technical doc documentation, uh, which are needed to actually uh, pull in the sequences that contain the table of interest. And then these sequences need to be combined together to recreate the full table. Now for ACS staff, uh, each year this requires a large haul of splitting the data files uh, into, I believe roughly 40,000 files for that sequence based format. Um, now, for the table based format, uh, this streamlines the summary file production by delivering one file instead of splitting the files by state and sequence number. Uh, the new format will be able will provide tables by the specific table ID. Uh, and that is we, we would post a file for each table containing the estimates and margins of error for all geographic uh, areas available. And this will reduce the complexity of the ACS summary file from over 140,000 files to about roughly 2000 files. Uh, it will also improve the ease of uh, for data users and lower the cost of creating, verifying, and supporting the ACS summary file compared to the sequence-based format. So the overall benefits, uh, the table-based format is much easier to work with than compared to the sequence-based format because the estimates and margins of error for each table are already combined into one file. And also all ge geography labels and identifiers are combined into one file as well. So now data users will no longer need to search through multiple files for geography labels. And last is reducing the summary file complexity also makes documentation much easier to understand, ultimately saving time and resources for census staff. And we also have uh, examples of SAS and Python code and Excel instruction to help data users with the data and combine that data together, uh, creating those full tables. Now to access the summary file from the ACS home webpage, you want to first visit census.gov forward slash ACS, then access the, the uh, ACS data page from the left-hand navigation, selecting the data tab, as you can see here on the screen. Uh, from the data page, you can then select the summary file link on the left-hand navigation as well. And then once you're on the ACS summary file page, you'll be presented with a new table-based format. Um, data users are able to select the data year or data tabs to find, for, to find data for specific years as well as the relevant geography files that, that are for that year as well. Uh, there's also table shells that, are, that provide information for you. So line by line, what is in each table to help you give an explanation of those detailed tables. And data users can also find links to the older sequence-based format if they do wish to use that format. Um, but just as a reminder, the sequence-based format will only contain data from 2005 to 2021. Um, all new releases will only be available uh, in the table-based format starting with the 2022 release. So while on the ACS table based summary file webpage, uh, data users can access summary file folders and the file transfer protocol or the FTP for short. So under the getting starting tab uh, the tail of the table based webpage, select the ACS summary file data icon, which will lead you directly to the FTP site. And then from there, you can choose the data year of interest. So in this example, we were choosing 2021, then select either the tail based or the uh, sequence based format folder. Uh, for this example, we selected the newer tail based format and next users can select the data folder uh, for documentation, the data folder or the documentation folder. Uh, here we selected the data folder. Um, the documentation folder will contain the geography files as well as the table shells and instructions for actually merging the geo IDs into the data files. Uh, then you'll select the ACS summary file, either one year or five year data sets. In this example, we just simply selected the 2021 one year. 
And last, what it'll provide you is a full list of the detail tables. Uh, in this example, we were highlighting and honing in on the table B01001. And this example just shows the ease of use breaking out the tables by specific table IDs for the detail tables. Uh, for merging into a complete full tables, uh, once again, you want to go into that documentation folder to be able to pull those geography files. And there's also instructions in there, once again, how to merge that geography file into a complete table to give you that metadata to know what you're looking at. Also, currently, their ACS webpage points to two external sites for accessing additional information on the table-based format. Uh, this includes the GitHub wiki page and repository. So these will still be up for a little bit, uh, but however, these pages will soon be taken down as all summary file documentation. Uh, we do hope to move it over to the actual ACS summary file website to kind of house everything in one central location for our data users. Uh, the ACS webpage itself uh, houses multiple resources pertaining to the ACS summary file. Uh, the Census Bureau will soon provide a handbook specifically on using the table-based summary file on the main summary file page. So the URL and the QR code provided on the slide will lead you directly to that web page. Uh, the Census Bureau also provides instructions on how to access tables in the summary file, uh, also using Excel, SAS, and Python. Uh, data users can also find previous webinar recordings uh, for the summary file on the web page as well. And all these resources can all be found on the mentioned uh, page above under the Getting Started section. Uh, we also provide resources for the sequence-based format. I don't want to touch too much on this. It's been around for a little bit, but we do have the handbook for the sequence-based format. Uh, we do also provide instructions on um, how to access the tables and the summary file using Excel and SAS. And there's many other sources available well, as well, including instructions on how to uh, join the summary file to the Tiger Line shape files and much more. And once again, we still do will provide that uh, older web pages for the sequence-based format. So with that, next, I'm going to turn it over to Ben, who will, Ben and Vicky, who will both provide examples of how to read geography names into the table-based summary files. Uh, so first, I'll turn it over to Ben to give an example of how to use SAS coding and pulling in, pulling in the geography file names into a summary file table. It's all yours, Ben. Hi. Good morning. This is Ben. First, let me share my screen. I hope everyone can see my SAS program all right. Yes, we can see it, Ben. All right. Um, I'll be presenting our basic SAS example program for merging the data and the geography labels. So I have pre-downloaded the 2021 one-year data file for table B01001 and the 2021 one-year geography file to those designated locations. First, let's look at the data file. You can see the data file and the geography file both are pipe delimited as aforementioned. Therefore, I choose to use proc import to read in both files. Just specify the delimiter to be a pipe. And since both file contains column header in the first row, we want to get the names. Set get names equal to yes. We're using guessing row statement to avoid truncation of the GeoIDs because GeoID tend to change its length if we get into more granular and smaller geography tracks. And by default, SAS proc import will only look at or inspect the first 20 lines of data and automatically assign the best format for each variable. So we use proc import to avoid truncation. And after reading in both files, we just use proc sql to join both files by the common variable geo underscore id which is present in both files and takes unique values therefore we can use it as index to merge the two files this will add the column name from the geography file which contains the geo labels to the output and here we have on top of the program we declared Table ID should equal to B01001. You can choose other table to work with. And here we also specify the state equal to CA. And we have a where statement. This will act as a filter to filter out any observation whose state abbreviation is different from CA, which is stands for California. 
And the output is saved in the same location as the SAS program. Here, let's take a look at the output. As you can see, we have added the column name, which contains geography labels for the state of California and all of its sub-geographies. And all the columns for table B01001 estimate, MOE, are listed horizontally. There are 49, 49 lines if you go to DCG, and now they are saved horizontally across. So this complete my example of the SAS. I'll turn to Vicky for the Excel example. Thank you. Okay, uh, good afternoon, I'm Vicki, and I'm going to demonstrate how to merge the geography file with the table using Excel. Um, the table, in this case, it will be table B01001 from the 2021 ACS one-year estimates. So first, I want to make sure you can see my screen, which is the census web summary file website. Can you see it? Just nod your head, anybody? Yeah, we can see it, thank you. Yep. Okay, great. Okay. So first, you can find the instructions on the main summary file page under the Getting Started section all the way towards the bottom. And it has the Excel, these Excel instructions are in PDF format that you can download for future reference. Uh, so let's get started. First, you're going to um, choose your year of interest. In this case, we're going to choose the 2021 ACS one year estimates. When you click on the tab and scroll down the page, you'll have, you can select the appropriate files. We're going to uh, download the 2021 one year table, table files and the geography file. When I click on the one year uh, summary table file, summary file table shown here, it will direct you to the FTP site that houses the data tables. So I'm going to click on that table. And uh, for um, for a quick note, the reason I'm selecting one year instead of five year is just to remind you that the five year table in processing of the five year data could take much, much longer. So I'm choosing the one year because I know it's going to be a much quicker process. So I'm going to choose table B01001, which is the first table at the top of the list. Once you select table B01001 shown here, um, it will open as a text file, and again, depending on the on the data, it could be the five year data could take much longer. This is very quick, and it also depends on the table. The more complicated the table, it could take a few um, seconds or a few seconds longer. So, for this table, next my next step is to save this file as a text file at first. So you're going to right click on the screen. Click on Save As, and I'm going to save it in my Downloads folder. And then my next step is to open this file in Excel. So I'm going to open Excel, select File, Open. I'm going to browse for, my fo for that file and in my downloads folder and i'm going to change this default option here to all files hey. so that i can identify it hey vicky we, we're still okay. seeing the uh the text file load up we can't see your excel file you might be sharing oh. instead of sharing your window you'll be sharing the actual screen okay itself. Yeah. okay i'm going to change my options for sharing And there it is. 
then you should be good. You should be able to see uh, the Excel. So I'm going to go back real quickly. Hi, Vicki. Would you mind trying to share your screen again? I don't see it in the backstage yet. You don't see it? Okay. Can you see it now? Not yet. The screen said, um, it's, it's asking me to stop sharing. What do you, do you see anything? Not yet. Um, <clears throat> what we can try is, um, we, you could either try leaving the session and joining back in and maybe refreshing your page. Okay. All right. This, uh, I don't want to do that, but let me try one more. Okay, I see it now. Okay. All right. I didn't want to go back out and come back in. All right. So I, uh, you saw the text file. You saw that, right? And I open, open Excel. And I'm going to open that text file. I'm going to file. And I'm going to open. I'm going to browse to that file, which is in my downloads folder. It is uh, a change the default from all Excel files to all files, and I'm going to select open. And then the text import wizard pops up. Um, I'm going to follow the steps to open this file as an Excel file. So I'm going to select next. I'm going to check the box for other. And since it's pipe delimited, I'm going to enter the vertical bar so I, for the pipe delimited. And at this point, I can just select finish. And now I have my my Excel, my table is an Excel file. I'm going to remember and I'm going to remind you to save it as an Excel workbook. So go file, save as, change it to an Excel workbook and click save. Now I can close that, go back to, I mean to go back, did not mean to close out the internet altogether. I'm going to go back to the summary file page. Hi, Vicki. I'm sorry to interrupt you again. It looks like your screen isn't being shared. Can anyone else see it? No, it just it just went away for me to like, like a couple seconds ago. What? Okay. All right. I'm going to stop sharing. And don't know why that happened. Is it um, showing the website? No, the whole screen, I, I believe, just went away. The whole screen is gone? Yeah, it's not sharing anything anymore. Huh. Is it showing anything? All right, I see it in the backstage. I'm going to add it to the stream. Okay, yep, we see the web page now. Okay, can you see the web page? Okay, yeah. did you see Excel? Did you get that part? We okay. saw Excel, yes, and then it went down. After okay, that. okay, all right. I'm going to go back to our 2021 tab to download the geography file. So good, so far, so good. Uh, going to click on the 2021 one, one year geography file, well, geography file, and then I'm going to do the same thing I did with the table. I'm going to right click and save as, and I'm going to save it in the same place I saved my table. 
And then I'm going to go back to Excel. I'm going to open that same file, browse. It is a geography text file. I already have the default for all files open and click open. Vicki, we're still seeing the text, the text geo file. I want to keep doing it. So, try one more thing. Go out, go back in. Uh, do you see anything? Uh, yep. Now we see the. Now yeah, we see the. See yep. Weird. Okay. We're almost there. <laughs> I'm going to open the the text uh, geography text file. Do you see the? I'm still showing on the Excel screen. Yep. You're still good. Okay. Open. I'm going to browse. Go to the geography file, open the file. I'm going to use the text import wizard, change it to from, um, select the other delimiter to pipe delimiter. And I'm going to click finish. And I'm also going to save this as a, as an Excel workbook, workbook. So file, save as, as Excel workbook. In the same location, remember to save it in the same location as your table. I'm going to close that screen. My next step is to insert a column next to column A because what I want to do is fill in all the names for these geographies. So I'm going to right click on the B, on the, on the B column, click insert. Make a little room. And then on the second row, I'm going to enter the VLOOKUP formula that I will use to identify those columns, I mean, those geography IDs. That's it. I already copied and pasted that VLOOKUP column um, formula. It's in the PDF file that I showed you. And what it did is searched for in columns A, O, and A, P for the column names to match the GOID. And then my next step is to um, click on this bottom right corner so I can do a quick fill of all of these other rows. So I'm going to right click. And you'll see that as, as I scroll down, the geography names are identified for every row, every single row. This is a huge file, so I will not go all the way down. And these are all the geographies that are available for the 2021 ACS data. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to make sure that all of these columns are um, text instead of a formula, you could just right click copy and then paste. Paste as text. And I'm sorry about the screen sharing. I don't know what happened, but yep. it is yeah. actually a pretty quick process normally. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, I'm um, yes, sharing my screen you. now. Hopefully everybody can see it. Thank you, uh, Vicki. Thank you, Ben. And once again, we apologize for those technical difficulties. That process, as Vicki said, um, is very simple, and we do have instructions on our webpage. You can follow it step by step. It's a PDF um, that Vicki and Ben actually created, and it walks you step by step exactly what Vicki did. So check that out, um, and there'll be no technical issues with viewing that PDF. Um, okay, so just moving forward uh, on the sides as well, just Kind of rehashing what Ben showed. It's just the the SAS um, 
labels, adding in the SAS labels to the SAS coding that Ben shows. So we have these in the slides for you as well. So you can kind of see that information um, and then also showing what was uh, eventually created based on using that SAS coding that Ben showed as well. And once again, we saw those instructions for Vicky's portion actually on our webpage in PDF format. Um, wrapping up our session today, I want to thank you for tuning in. Sorry for the longer delay. Um, hopefully you did learn something and gather something from the summary file as well as the table-based summary file. We're hoping to make it easier on you to, to use that tool and to pull data using the summary file. Um, if you do need additional assistance using the census or ACS data, uh, including the summary file, we have the Census Bureau sl uh, Slack channel to offer. Um, there are census staff that engage on Slack every day to help with data user questions, especially if you are accessing data through uh, different ways, such as R or Python. Uh, you can also email us directly here at the, our Outreach and Education branch using the email acso.users.support at census.gov if you have any questions in the future. Um, and finally, the American Community Survey Office has developed a GitHub page to share repositories of code for working with uh, ACS data developed by data users. Um, all programming languages are welcome to be added in. So if you uh, want to add in a, a code, please email us at acso.users.support uh, and we'll add in that, that coding language into the GitHub page as well. Uh, adding that language in allows for increased knowledge sharing of different ways to work with ACS data. So Elise Parks uh, said, are there resources for using summary file in R? We've moved our ACS flow from Excel into R, largely using API now, but have been told I need the summary file for the geography file to do a particular analysis. Okay. Yeah, I see Gretchen respond, and that's correct, that the GitHub page does share a repository for coding for using different uh, applications with a summary file. Um, ben, are you still here? Did you want to jump in? Is there any additional you want to add there? I know you're a little bit more involved with the GitHub page. I think Ben is. Ben, I think you're on mute. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think this is the new GitHub web pages for entire ACS. Uh -huh. So currently for summary file, we only have a SAS and Python example. We do not have a resource in R, but anyone is re um, welcome to provide our example. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> next question from Jonathan Schroeder on the web pages, there are some key documentation sources that are still only available via the sequence based pages, namely the appendices and the handbook. Are there plans to update these and link to them on the main table based pages? Gotcha. Yeah. So specifically on, the, specifically on the handbook, we are working actually on a new handbook for the table based format. And that is being, uh, we just reviewed our first round of reviews and uh, we're working with PRB. So thanks for their help on that. And that will be available um, come this data release year. And we'll have that that handbook posted on the table based uh, format section. So, yes, yeah, so we'll have a handbook specifically for the table based format, along with the older handbook for the sequence based format. Now, as far as the appendices, um, the appendices are for the sequence-based format, so that's why it still remains on that page with that format itself. It does; it's not needed uh, more so for the table-based format. And I'm not seeing any other any other questions in the Q and A. I see some chat too, but nothing, no questions. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan, I was earlier had said he only saw the sequence based page on the summary file page, but uh, he probably might have figured it out. Yeah. Yeah, no, no questions, no more questions. No. Yeah, that's correct. Yep. So Jonathan's correct. That summary file page is the hierarchy in our web page system replaces the table based format is the high is the higher level within our web page breakdown and within the table based format page there's links to that sequence based page. Cool. 
Oh. Looks like that's it, uh, Lillian. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Lillian. Everyone. Thank you, everybody.